Geocaching HQ has declared that 2022 is the year of the hide. And if you hide a new cache this year, you'll get this new souvenir. Well, I don't need a souvenir to prod me on to hide a new cache. It's a nice little bonus, but I'm going to hide some caches anyway. Right now, I'm going to hide a gadget cache. Found a nice spot here between a regular back road and the expressway in the right of way between the two. So this is my gadget cache. I got a couple locks on there, a couple little metal plates, and you have to get the combination to the locks so you can get it open. I call this one nuts and bolts. Here's the spot. I'm gonna mount it right onto this fence right here with some zip ties. Here's my gadget cache. I've zip tied it to this boundary fence. There's the two locks and the gadget. And the trick is to figure out the combinations to the lock and how to get to the log. So here is my gadget cache. And now I need to get cords. And I'm going to use my phone to do that. But I'm going to stand here for about five minutes and watch the cords on the phone on my app. And then I'm going to take a screenshot. That way I've got a photo of those cords that I can use when I make my cache page. I got to tell you, one of my favorite things to do is to go into Goodwill and to wander the aisles and to see what they might be on the shelves that would make a great geocache container. This one particular time I was walking through the toys and this one just kind of jumped out at me. When I saw it, I knew I had to figure out a way to make a geocache with this particular toy. When I bought this Elmo CNC, I knew that I could finagle it somehow to get a combination to a lock or coordinates if I wanted to do a multi-cache. The first thing to do was to reface the toy. After a little bit of thinking, I knew that if I mounted the CNC into a wood box, I could put a clear cover on it and have some type of a cord to pull the lever to make the CNC work. But you have to listen to hear what the number represents. And that with the instructions on the door will give you the combinations to the two locks. Now that I've got the box made and I've got the CNC mounted and ready to go, it's time to put it in place. Here it is friends, in the wild. It published this morning and I've had three finds on it so far but it's right here next to an on-ramp for the expressway, so it's very noisy out here, which makes this a little bit harder to do because you have to listen so closely. Let's take a look on the inside. And we have the little latch here, and we've got a magnet holding it. And there it is, folks. And I'm gonna operate it. Got a little pull string down here. First of all, it's hard to hear what it's saying because there's a clear caulk all around the edge of this to keep it as waterproof as possible. And then you've got the expressway traffic. I'll see if I can do this so you can hear it. So there's my newest gadget cache that I put out. This is part of the Gus 131 or gadget of US 131 and this is my second gadget cache that I put out this week.